I tell you what, everyone, it is all happening over here at the ranch base. The ranch base? I mean, is it a ranch or a base? I guess it's, it's like the farming corner of the base. The ranch dressing atop the salad. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I've been busy. We've been busy. As you can tell, we got a lot of friends here currently. In fact, we got 15. 15? Yeah, we've got 15 pals over here. In fact, we've exceeded the limit of beds. We've got an extra bed. More beds than pals over here. And we've reached the pal limit. But as you can see, we have um, acquired some new friends along the way. We've got some mozzarinas. I think we've got like five of them. Went and catching them for uh, some milk. Which they are slowly, actually very quickly producing over here inside of our, uh, our little farm over here. We've also got some little chickpeas making me eggs. And we've got the lambos making me uh, cotton. I think that's what they... Wait, they make me cotton? Is that what you guys make? I always forget. This stuff here. Whoa, never mind. And then we turned it into leather. And the reason for all of this, the reason I've been putting in the hard yards, getting all of this stuff sorted, why isn't anybody planting anything? I gotta work that out in just a second. It's because over here in my little breeding... This is called a ranch, I'm pretty sure, actually. Um, we've got these two guys making sweet, sweet love. We've got uh, Mozanda and we've got Catrice. And together, they're making me an egg. The problem is, I don't have enough cake. We need more cake. Neither of these two got enough. Neither are packing enough cake. So, uh, the reason that we needed to go catching all of those guys is so we can craft some of that. We needed milk and we needed eggs. Combined with honey, red berries, and flour, we can start production of a cake, which, yeah, I had a feeling it was going to take a little while to make. So, let's acquire some help. Ruby. I don't remember getting a ruby. That's a... I don't think I've ever seen that before. Interesting. Uh, but who can help me on the cooking side of things? You know what? Bushy. Come join us, my friend. I need your flaming help. And I think as the time, as of right this second, you're our best flamer. All right, so cook me up that cake. And if all goes according to plan, or at least on how I suspect this thing to go, if I give these guys a cake to use for whatever reason, uh, I think they're going to give me an egg. An egg that would potentially be a very powerful pal that we have not yet acquired, but... Apparently, are like overpowered or well, just really, really useful when it comes to uh, use, uh, like, I guess for a base, uh, which is why I am super, super excited to get today. Yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together really, really nicely. Um, okay, my guy over there, Vadash, he's going to go do some planting now. Fantastic. Oh, this is just splendid. This is just splendid. Now, let me go and grab, I don't know why that's in there. We've got to put that in the cooler. Keep it nice and fresh. Uh, let's head on over to... Uh, I guess the main part of the base, which is just next door, but it's easier to fast travel than not. And uh, see how things are going on up here. Uh, as you can see, everybody's doing exactly what I want them to be doing. Uh, everyone's doing great, as a matter of fact, which is just great to see. Everything's getting crafted. But the one thing I'm trying to get my hands on right this second is a good amount of cloth, which uh, thanks to my guys doing their thing, we actually now have a good supply of the stuff. Uh, or at least once I craft all the wool into cloth. And the reason I want cloth is because I think it's time that we relocate all of these beds. Um, my guys here have just been sleeping on little straw hay bales for a little while now, and I feel kind of bad about it. So I think it's time we give them an upgrade. Uh, but to do that, we kind of got to... Well, I'm going to relocate, basically. I want to use this area for something different. So time to get them off the factory floor. And instead... I think I've decided I'm going to move them upstairs. This was like the big predicament and I couldn't really work out how to do this. Or I could do like a little bit of a sleeping quarters over there and then save upstairs for something else. Maybe just leave it as a roof. To be fair, I could just put it over here. It kind of would make sense. I think we've got the space for it. We've got the resources for it. I can turn it into like a quite a nice little area. Um... I kind of just don't want to chop these trees down because it's one of the few things we've kind of still got going for us. But I think that might actually be the way to go from here. Um, that is a terrible placement though, isn't it? Not really. Because I can... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to replace that. That didn't really work out the way I was hoping. Something like... Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. And we can do like a bit of a... Three by three. The big question, though, is... Because I want to give these guys fluffy birds. What in the world is that doing there? Did I place that? Because that wasn't meant to be like that. Uh, fluffy beds. 
this is what I want my guys to sleep on. We want them to sleep nicely and get a good night's rest in now. So, um, I'm going to see how many we can fit. Or at least how close they can sit together. Because they can kind of sit close together. But I don't want to, like, squish them in too tight. Three. Four. Yeah, I guess that works. We can have plenty of room. All right, this actually works out really well. Uh, the downside here is that we've got these trees kind of just jutting out. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that not with a pickaxe but with a hatchet we got too many tools we can't even fit them all in our hot bar anymore but yeah so uh yeah this will this will do this will work it's gonna allow my guys here to get proper night sleeps in they're gonna be happier for it and i think i'm hoping just like be more productive with their building i might even move my own bed in here and sleep you know in in same sort of vicinity of them to make them feel that extra little bit special um oh we're out of nails oh no well either way that's seven sorted we're gonna need a bunch more lucky for us though we've got all this room over here to craft some more nails and this is kind of the reason that i wanted to relocate this whole thing uh we can craft up nails but not only that i can go ahead and i can double down and get myself a another oh no i need <laughs> i need nails to craft another one but the reason i wanted to get rid of this was so i could place another one of these because often we do want to just craft more stuff um and you know rather than well rather than i guess waiting around and having to craft one thing at a time i figured it just made sense to get two going at once type of thing yeah i don't know that's kind of just the way i was thinking these guys here will have our nails ready very very soon though We'll get this thing down. I'll probably just have to fill in um, some temporary beds for the time being. Um, and then I think it's time for us to head out on an adventure. Because it's, it's been a little while. And I've kind of been missing it. I hope this is worth doing. At least then we can get two things going at once. Um, as far as nails go though. Can I place any more of these beds? I think what I'll do is just place temporary... Just trashy beds for the time being uh yeah we're not gonna really have the no i need more nails dang that's a shame well anyways we're gonna need to play some some of these anyway so we may as well begin that one two that gives us it's only well three i'm gonna have eight of those beds and then we'll have the other eight as just these beds but at the end of the day oops and all these guys are like too close together it's, it's going to be fine. It means half our squad gets to sleep well. And the other half are just going to have to tough it out, unfortunately. And that is that. And yes, I know you can hear raid music going on. As they, don't worry, they can't get up here. It's all good. In case you missed the memo, this is pretty much like an unraidable spot on the map. And it is absolutely fantastic for it. Okay, it's time for us to head back over to the other base. My cake is almost ready. But it's just not quite there yet. Buddy speed things up a little bit mate i need this cake i really really need this cake while we're out here though we may as well go and start placing a few more farms down and the reason for that is i don't have any berries currently being produced so a few more berry spots and then one that i have forgotten and we actually have never planted uh a tomato farm the problem is i am missing one vital ingredient for that which we are currently storing in this container uh, I need some power fluids. Not a lot of them. Just some of them. And that will allow me to place down our little tomato farm. And then I think for now, that actually gives us access to everything that we're going to need. So, uh, where am I going to place it? Let's place it over here. Or am I going to place like another farm over here? Hmm. Actually, these are big. Oh, look how big the tomato farm is. All right, yeah. I was just, just going to drop it here. Somebody got in the way. I'm probably just going to remove this gate and brick up a wall you know what? let's do that right this second bam see you later we got no reason to ever go down there so like i'm just gonna lock this baby up and then uh we never have to think about it oops nope not gate defensive no i need cement i don't have cement i guess i could put a little doorway in here though if i really wanted to all right new idea let's build Kind of like I would in Ark. We're just going to build a nice old foundation line, sort of. Straight across. I'm going to put a stone doorway 
in the center of it in case I ever shall decide that I want to leave. And then, yeah, I was kind of hoping we could place these big old offensive walls right on top of that. Bam, just like that. It looks a bit silly. But it gets the job done. <laughs> it kind of looks, makes the place look like a bit of a castle. And yeah, we're missing that one piece of concrete or cement, whatever this is, to like properly block that up. How's my cake coming along? Dude, what are you waiting on? What are you, are you taking a break? Did I not, did I not mention the urgency that I want this thing to be ready? My guys over there are waiting. They're waiting to make me a baby. And knowing my luck, then I gotta hatch the egg and that's gonna take some time too. Thank you very much for the cake though. You know what, while we're at it, make another one. Make another two. I'm sure we're gonna need them soon. So my friends, how doth I give you cake? Um, I actually don't know how to give you cake. Do I have to feed them the cake? Do I have the cake? I've got the cake. A dish that is in drink celebrations. Put it in a chest at your breeding farm to have a pal lay a particular healthy egg. Okay. So if I place it in the chest, that's what the same made to do, right? Or does it have to be in an actual chest in the farm? I've never done this before. So this is interesting. Do I have to place the chest or is that chest? Is that a chest? Oh, oh, how cool. I had no idea that these things had storage boxes. Bam. Okay. And now is that enough cake? <laughs> what do you mean not enough cake? Oh, wait, egg, egg. Wait, hold on. How long was that egg sitting there for? Did that just appear then or was I just looking straight through it? Either way, we have ourselves a huge rocky egg. And what's the bet this thing's gonna take like an entire hour to hatch. All right, let's go. We got some work to do now, or at least some waiting to do. Let us finally get an egg incubator in this new base. I'm just gonna drop it front and center. Gonna quickly build it. It's not gonna take that long. Uh, and then, yeah, we're probably gonna have to face the music that this thing's gonna take like an hour to hatch up. Oh no, an hour and 20? Uh, seems just a little cold. Incubation speed plus, oh wow. Because it's cold, it's, it's gonna take longer. So I need to warm it up. Um, place, uh, place, okay, hold on. I think there's something we can learn to, prevent, to, to help with this. If I haven't learned it already, that is. I assume there is something to the tune of being able to warm it up. A heater. A heater. Has to be that. Okay. Uh, where would I find the heater? Yeah. Charcoal! We're going to get some charcoal. I've been wondering what charcoal's for. All right. Well, let's get some. Bad time. I've got one of them. I need nine more. Um, hopefully one of my flamey friends can help me out with this, like, right this second. <laughs> hey, Arsox, come here, buddy. Um, I need your help. I know it says you're resting, but time to get to work. As depressed as you are, I apologize for this. I need my charcoal, though. Charcoal is ready. All right, I guess now the moment of truth. Let's see if this can help us out a little bit because this egg's gonna take some time otherwise. Okay. Oh, this requires somebody to come and heat it up also. Oh my goodness. I'm just, is it, am I just, am I just like stupid or something? So let's just get little Ruby out here for the time being. I've never seen this thing. I don't even know where it came from. Hey, there we go. Incub incubation speed plus 100%. So this little dude doing his thing is allowing the egg to incubate faster, I suppose. Nice. It's <laughs> still a long wait though. And just like that, an egg is ready. Oh, so we got a second one on the way because why not? In fact, I could probably go get a third one on the way in the time that it took this here to be ready. But uh, here we go. Let's have a look at what lays inside of this egg. And it's Anubis. It's exactly what I was hoping for. And it looks like it's got absolutely atrocious stats. 
<laughs> so from basically the reason we did this is uh supposedly anubis is an absolute butt kicker of a creature um they're found in the desert which we've never actually explored to but the reason they're amazing is they have level four handiwork level three mining and level two transporting so basically they can craft mine and transport ridiculously well um they're basically you basically just want to fill your base with them and they can take care of everything aside from like firing and watering and farming and that sort of stuff but if we could get like 10 of these it'd be fantastic um also when they fight together uh, they apply ground damage to players attacks sometimes dodges attacks with high speed side speed yeah whatever okay so they, they can be fighters as well the downside is my guy's passive abilities terrible attack terrible work speed and uh decrease to incoming natural damage yeah so not the best not the best one <laughs> that is for certain but that's okay because now that we've got our little farm set up over here giving us everything that we need for plenty of cakes we can well we can go get more cakes for a start we can get a lot of cakes oh my goodness uh yeah okay we got we got cakes we got we got we're gonna keep going with these we're gonna get a whole stack of them and now though let me just put one more cake in here we get another egg and these guys here are gonna get busy once more and uh yeah hopefully get us going with another one the beauty is though what i can actually do is i can put two uh two more guys in the other farm we've got over there and we can actually i guess get two bunches of these guys going uh the only thing is i'm going to have to pull out one of these guys uh it can be either of them but if i were to go and grab this travel back over here and then i guess well stick him in here what do i need the least of we've got probably i'm gonna stop some of the cotton i'm gonna throw pen king in i'm gonna grab my buddy here he's a big old fella too i'm gonna throw him over in this farm and then apparently <laughs> they can actually breed with bushy and we'll chuck bushy in here not work suitably wait what no 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 no, no. from what i gather you guys can be what do you mean you can't be farmed? Okay. That's, I believe, inaccurate. Mm. Oh, no. I just wasted a ball. Um, okay. Let me try my other bushy then. Because I do have two of these guys. From what I understand, we can keep these guys like they breed. Yeah, there we go. Hey, all right. Now these two guys are going to make me a baby. Wait, are they? Yeah, there we go um male and female are not present oh no oh i completely didn't even pay attention to the genders uh okay well they can't then but also it sounds like i can just put you guys in that one anyways and you can just team up over there instead um oh dang it all right well i didn't i didn't well i didn't think that through then did i <laughs> but that's okay let's go and get this other egg incubating and I guess we'll go and unleash Anubis in our base as well because we got the room for it. He may not be the best worker, the best stats and all the rest of it, but um, he's fast and he's going to do exactly what I need him to do, which is doing what he's doing. Let's get this other egg over here. So we got two of those. I reduced the time, by the way, just because why not? Um, all right, fantastic. Great. Lots of nails on the way, by the way. Lots of everything on the way. I've been trying to stockpile. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Not happening. I've been trying to basically uh, collect a lot of the resources and a lot of the things that we're going to need for crafting soon. Um, there's still a ways to go, but... I've been trying to get like a good stockpile of things like nails, cotton, well, not cotton, cloth, uh, cement, especially because we have officially leveled up to an all new level, uh, unlocking some pretty sweet stuff down here. Get a load of this. So the ultra sphere, uh, it's going to need some pretty interesting stuff to craft it, but we've got it. The sphere assembly line two, bam, circuit boards, bam, and carbon fiber, bam, um, Carbon fiber is crafted with coal, which I don't have much of. Circuit boards, we need polymer and pure quartz. I have no idea where to get pure quartz, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, refined ingots are going to need coal as well, and the circuit boards. And then ultra spheres are pretty darn expensive uh, as well. I know we can get polymer in here. Um, this one right here. 
But then again, we also need high quality power oils. So I think we're going to have to start farming some of that as well. Uh, I was originally looking to scrap this farm. Now I'm thinking we just got to use it for different stuff. Um, yeah, I got to work out the best option for us in that aspect, I think. I'm also beginning to think it may be time for us to go and scrap this base. Uh, it's been fantastic for us for quite some time now um, at getting metal. It's, uh, it's like my little, you know, I can probably, I don't need all of these anymore. It's been great at smelting metal for us and collecting metal. Um, but now that we've got the other base and the amount of metal going on over there, I probably don't need this one here to be like a dedicated base anymore. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, I think what we're going to have to do is relocate it. What armor do I have on, by the way? Yeah. I think we're going to have to relocate it to all the way out here at the desert. I think. I don't know. But let me pop on up here. And the reason I say this is apparently, well, yeah, this is where we get coal. Coal is from the desert. I have no good access to coal just yet. Um, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I think we're just going to need a base a little bit closer to some of it. I don't know. I'm sure there's uh, some pretty cool spots around here that are close to a lot of it. I'm pretty sure those aren't rocks, but actually coal. Um, are you? Yeah, wait, what? You're fighting me? Oh, what did I do to trigger you? Robin Quill Terror. That's not very nice at all. Maybe down here. Let me have a look down here and see if there's any, like, sweet spots over here. Well, that's ore. Um, that's going to be ore. Yeah, I don't know. You can kind of see some things in the distance. But it all just looks like ore, doesn't it? What is that? Oh, wait, is that a... Oh, no way. Oh, it's a lucky beacon. That thing's a level 50. Oh, you're going to tease me like this? With one of my favorite creatures. I mean, we are riding around on a beacon. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, yeah, it's all good and well. But still, that is a shiny and lucky, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, want, I want it? No, don't, 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 don't. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what I can do here. How much health has this thing got? This thing will kick my butt. And my guns do not deal a lot of damage to it. Uh, I don't expect my attacks to either. Yep. Okay, I just got zapped and like tanked. Uh, that is a high level, dude. I probably shouldn't be wasting my time unless I can get... <gasps> Hold on. I was going to say, unless I can get... Actually, did I just despawn it by running too far away from it? I did. <laughs> It's despawned already. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was going to be exciting though. Um, I still want one of these dig toises. I was going to see if we could get let these syndicate guys wear it down and I could just like swoop in with a catch. I'm kind of just... I might just let him... Let's just see what happens. They are wearing him down. I might be able to sweep in here with a pretty easy catch. Come on. Come on, Syndicate guys. Do what I know you're capable of. Let's keep that machine gun going. I'm not going to join in the fight. I'm just going to... Just going to watch. Might even be able to get one of these other dudes over here. Maybe I'll just catch the Syndicate gunner instead. <laughs> yeah, come on. This Dig Toy is amazing. Um, I'm not ready to try and catch it just yet, though. You know what? Never mind. I am. 0.03% chance. All right, we're going to need a better... We'll try Giga Sphere instead. Um, I don't want to waste too much ammunition either. All right, there we go. That kind of did some good. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right. right. Kind of wrecked me there for a second. Not quite what I was looking for. I'm just trying to be careful here because this guy will annihilate me if I'm not careful. All right, shockwave it. That didn't work. All right, try. Track. It's too fast for me. <laughs> he's, he's evading my attacks. All right, lightning streak. Here we go. 
Wow, I suck. Um, we just shoot him. That actually works very well. All right. And then bullet. 6%? I'm going to waste a lot of balls trying to make this happen. 7% chance. That is ridiculous. Is that just because I'm such a low level or what? All right, I might not, I might not waste any more. I do have a lot of hyperspheres though. Maybe I'll use a hyper. Okay, twenty percent chance, a little, little bit nicer. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yes, nice. And you know what? While I'm at it, there's some headshots here. The waste of ammunition, but it is what it is. No, I killed it. I'm stupid. But they drop a ton of high quality power oil. I need that. That's good. Fantastic. Oh, well, that actually worked out pretty good. Look, it's not what we came out here looking for, but that's okay. I think this is what we came out here looking for. I'm just going to ignore all the chaos going on over there. I'm totally going to end up dying out here, aren't I? Yeah, this is coal. This is coal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to find a good spot with a lot of coal and just set up a little little outpost there. Try and collect an absolute ton of it and uh, see what we can accomplish. Uh, if I can get out of this without dying, I'm gonna be so darn happy. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. <laughs> you know what? Ow. Okay, good for you. Can I get a sneak a, sneak a quick little catch here? 20% chance. It wasn't terrible odds, but it wasn't good enough. All right. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I don't want to waste a ball. I was going to throw it, but we would have failed. All right, let's get out of here. I just cannot believe I missed out on a shiny beacon. I got so comfortable there. I got so excited when I saw that thing that... Yeah, just unfortunately we missed the boat. But in good news, we got this guy finally. Dig toys. Good miner. Woo! Okay. You know what? Um Mate, join the squad here, buddy. Also, show me what you're about. Good defense. <laughs> okay, this thing's actually really good. Uh we got 20% extra defense plus an extra 10. This thing is a beast. Like a tank. It's defense is ridiculous. It's plus 30%. All right. This, I'm, I'm going to... Okay, cool. That is amazing. Um, good to know. Fantastic to know. You are an absolute animal. And just before we're about to wind up today, another egg is ready to be incubated. Another Anubis. The big question is though, and the one I am wondering the most about is how good of an Anubis is it? It's a coward. An aggressive coward. <laughs> Terrible attack, uh, but good attack, bad attack, good attack, bad defense. Either ways, bad defender does not matter. Uh, this guy, like like everything else we're currently uh, using here, it's just going to help us at the base. Um, and yeah, you're basically a better Incineram, so just yeah, you get you get the spot, my dude. Yes, you do. Two Anubises helping us out now. Nice. Well, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to end this one right here. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. But until then, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.